brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to replace a radiator fan on this 2006 Chevy Impala. Pretty much the same as any 2006 to 2012 Impala. Uh, one way to test your radiator fan is it should always be on when your air conditioning is on. Uh, if it does not work when your air conditioning is worked, check the fuses and relays first. Um, and then if you figure that you need to replace the radiator fan, it's not too difficult. You'll need 10, 13, and 15 millimeter sockets with a ratchet. You'll also need a flat blade screwdriver and a large pry bar. Four 15 millimeter bolts hold the front part of the upper engine mounts on. You'll need to remove those and I'll fast forward here as we do that. Then additionally, there's two more 13 millimeter bolts. Remove your oil fill tube, and that just allows you to take the engine cover off and then just put that oil cap back on just to keep things out of the engine. Now there are two more bolts that hold the engine mounts to the engine. 15 millimeter wrench to hold um, the uh, bolt side and then a 15 millimeter socket ratchet uh, to remove both nuts. Once those are removed, take the engine mounts up and out of place. There are a series of clips holding the harness to the radiator fan assembly. Okay, a couple up top and then a few down at the bottom. And what you want to do is either pull the clips you can see just a second, pull the clips from the radiator fan assembly or um, just undo the clips and pull the harness out of the clip. Either way you'll want to use those clips and transfer them to your new radiator fan assembly. And we'll just fast forward as Don uh, removes those clips. Two harness connections, you pull up on a tab with your thumb and pull the connection out. Two 10 millimeter bolts uh, hold the radiator fan at the top. I use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Uh, you could actually use just a wrench here as well. Just have to manipulate the radiator fan a little bit and pull those brackets out. Ten millimeter bolt at the top one on the driver's side and then one on the passenger side I uh, need to remove those uh, those hold the radiator fan to the radiator and we'll fast forward again as we use that 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove those bolts Push the passenger side corner of the radiator fan underneath um, the coolant hose over there, slide it over to the passenger side a little bit, and then pull the driver's side up and out. When you're replacing the radiator fan, there are two tabs on each side of the radiator, uh, more on the lower side. They go into slots on the radiator itself down there and there. Put your new fan down in. Um, work the passenger side down under the uh, radiator hose first. Uh, make sure nothing binds up or gets caught in there. And then kind of lift it up and then down into those slots. And we'll fast forward as we put those three 10 millimeter bolts uh, that secure the fan to the radiator back in place and tighten them up. Put both the upper brackets back in place. You kind of work them up under the radiator support area and then onto the radiator fan. And then again, we'll, we're going to fast forward here as we bolt those back in place. Uh, 
securely reconnect or actually route the wiring harness first and then securely reconnect both of the leads to the radiator fan and then make sure you put all the clips back in place so the wiring harness can't get caught anywhere. Okay, remount the uh, engine, upper engine mounts on the engine side and you can see here we use a large pry bar um, and stick it in behind the engine mount and just give the engine mount a pull to get the um, bolt started along the front support. Okay, we'll fast forward, start all the bolts first um, that go onto the front support, and then we'll tighten those up nice and firm. Um, you should probably tighten them about to 50 to 55 foot pounds. And then same thing with the uh, mounts that are go to the engine, those bolts and nuts, 50 to 55 foot pounds. And then remove the oil fill, make sure that the grommets go in the correct places, push the engine cover down on, and then replace your oil fill cap. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.